Hey everybody, I had a couple of questions about how I use OBS Studio to manage the video feed in Zoom. Uh, I've been teaching online since March. Um, looks like we'll be teaching online for a while longer, so hopefully you'll find some of this helpful and it'll give you a few ideas about uh, what you can do. So, I'm going to switch over to a desktop video and kind of take on a little tour of how I've got things set up. All right, so when I turn my computer on, this is my desktop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just sort of set up some scenes in OBS Studio. OBS was basically designed to manage uh, like live streams, I think. A lot of uh, gamers use it on Twitch, um, but it's got a lot of features that I find really, really useful for teaching. OBS is divided into scenes, and so what I thought I would do is just kind of create my basic teaching setup from scratch and show you how I do that. So what I'm going to do is, is this is my first scene, and let's give it a name. Let's say we're going to call this front, and we're going to turn this into a front view um, so that my students can see me. So for every scene, we add a source. And so the first source I'm gonna add here is a video capture device. I need to create a new one. I have two cameras plugged into my computer. And so one of them is a Logitech webcam. So I'm going to create a Logitech webcam. From device, I find it here. There it is, the HD Pro. Ah, and there I am. Um, defaults are fine. And so what that does is that basically gives you uh, a little window with your webcam in it. Actually, I'm going to change this. Very sorry. I said the defaults would be fine. But I can make it look better. You have to play around with this stuff a little bit because this webcam can be big. There we go. All right. Again, when you drag these little handles, it changes the size of your video. So I'm going to make this take up the whole screen. And then one of the things I did um, is that I actually made a little badge little logo for myself. So what you can do is you can add an image. So I'm going to say add an image. Uh, create new. And there we go. Image file. Browse. And then let's see. I put mine in teaching. And then I did this little online assets. And there's my logo. And so now my logo shows up. And so I'm going to make my logo small. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. And I don't want it to be too annoying or obvious. So one of the things you can do is you can add a filter. And I'm going to do, I forget where this is. I think it's in color correction. You can dial the opacity down. There we go. So now it just kind of sits down here in the corner, nice and unobtrusive. All right, so this is kind of what my students see when they first log on. I just kind of give them a, a view of me and say hello, and we can start our lessons. But at some point, I might want them to be able to see my keyboard. So I'm going to create another scene called Keyboard. So here we go. I'm going to add a video capture device. I'm going to use that same Logitech webcam. And so I'm going to make it smaller. Whoops. I'm going to grab the thing, make it smaller, put it up here in the corner. And then I'm going to add another source. And I'm going to add another video capture device. Whoops. Create new. I'm going to call this one camcorder because I had an old camcorder that I was able to set up and it is called USB video and boom there's my camcorder. I've got this hanging off a music stand above the keyboard 
and it shows up the same way. So we have this window. So here's that window, and of course, I'm still back here in the in the background. So what I'm going to do is obviously I don't want my students to watch me play the piano upside down. And as it happens, if you hold down the Alt key, you can grab these little handles and crop the video. So nobody wants to see my desk. And nobody wants to see me upside down. So I right click, I go to transform and rotate 180 degrees. Boom. And there we go. So I'm going to put this there and I'm going to drag this so it takes up the whole screen. And we'll stick it there. You know, make everything look nice. And there you have it. So this is the view when um, basically I want to show students what I'm doing down on the keyboard. All right, so I've got two scenes. I've got a front, I've got a keyboard, and next up we're going to add the score. So I wanted students to be able to see the music that we're working on. This got a little bit more complicated. So I had to find an app that lets me mirror my iPad display on my computer. And so I have this thing called Reflector. And let me load it up real quick. All right, so I've got Reflector loaded up. And the way this works is once you have it configured, you can go to your iPad and you can tell your iPad to mirror the screen to the desktop. Boom. So here's my iPad, and it's running an app called Fourscore, which is a really nice way to show uh, PDF scores and annotate them. Go ahead and move this out of the way. And so what you can do in OBS is you can actually add an app. And we do that by doing window capture. And so I'm just going to call this iPad. And so what you can do is you can see I have Reflector 3 iPad. I had to like experiment a little bit to find these settings. Um, but anyway, I got it to work. And so here's my iPad screen. Again, if I hold down Alt, I can get rid of all this stuff that nobody wants to see. I'm going to drag the top down and I'm going to drag the side over. There we go. And then, you know, since um, I want to make this easy to see, I make this kind of the largest that it can be. And then, you know, again, to make sure that everybody can see me, there I am. And so I can take myself and put myself over here. And, you know, you can get fancy and play around with this all day long. But I can, like, make this a little bit different. This won't affect the way it looks over here. So, like, this one is still big. This one I'm still over on that side. And then the score, like, puts me up in this corner. But anyway, this is what students see when I've got this. And in the um, Fourscore app, I can use an Apple Pencil and, you know, circle things and write in, like, dynamics or whatever I want to do, and it'll show up on the screen here. You can do other things with scenes. Excuse me, I'll do this so you can see me. You can do other things with scenes. You can also show, uh, for example, uh, an app window. Um, I use the app Classroom Maestro. It's a nice way to display uh, a keyboard and a staff on the screen in real time. And so here's the, the uh, Classroom Maestro app. And we'll do this. We'll say Maestro. And again, it's pretty much the same idea. I'm going to do a window capture. My source is Maestro. Ooh, it found it automatically. So that was handy. 
and I basically do it just like I did the, the score. So there's Classroom Maestro. And again, if I do a little bit of this, I can get it to fill like the whole screen. Sorry, I just, it's fun to play around with this stuff. And then of course, I can also add that source video capture device, the Logitech webcam, here I am again. We don't need me to be very big, but again, I can put myself over here in the corner. And now we've got four scenes. So again, I've got a front view. I have this keyboard view. I have the score and I have Classroom Maestro. Now, once you've got all this set up, the trick is getting it all to uh, feed into Zoom. There is a plugin for OBS Studio called Virtual Cam. Uh, I downloaded it, I installed it, and now under the tools menu, it shows up here. I have it set to start automatically, but you can also start it like this. And once you start it, anything that's in OBS shows up in the OBS camera. So now let's do this. I'm gonna open up Zoom. Here is Zoom. Let's say I start a new meeting. Here is my new meeting. And what we do is, is that you'll see my little badge is here. And if I switch scenes in OBS, the scene shows up over there and that one. So again, this is the OBS window and the video in the OBS window shows up as the camera in Zoom. And you can see I have the camera selected here in Zoom. Now the only annoying thing I found about this is that I had to like click over here to change the scene in OBS for people to see it in Zoom, but there's kind of a neat app that Elgato makes um, for the iPhone. It's called uh, Stream Deck. And Stream Deck is brilliant. I will show you. So let's see, I've got my, I keep my phone here on my desk when I'm teaching. And there's this Stream Deck app and you can set it up so that you get little buttons to push on your phone. And so this button is the front view and this button is the keyboard and this button is Maestro and then the other button is the score. Apologies. There it is. And so that makes it really, really handy so that I don't even need to worry about the OBS app when I'm teaching. I can stay here in Zoom. So again, here's my Zoom window and I can use my phone to go back and forth between front view, keys, score, maestro. I also made a picture of landmark notes to help students out with that, um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry if this makes it look easy. This was the result of hours of tinkering, um, but I feel like once you get it set up, it makes things really, really easy and smooth in lessons. So I hope that gives you an idea for what you can do in OBS Studio and how I've got it set up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a note and I'll do my best to help. Also check out YouTube. There are a zillion tutorials on using OBS. It's very popular in the video game community. So you've got a lot of these gamer nerds with plenty of advice on cool things you can do with OBS, things that are even cooler than what I have scraped the surface of. So hope that helps a little bit and uh, yeah, good luck this fall. Thanks.